You're here today with Nader Sabri, unlocking unseen possibilities for unlimited growth. Today we're talking about independent versus dependent. Now this is something uh, I think a lot of the entrepreneurs, co-founders are gonna heavily relate to this. Um, when you're inside a corporate, by nature you are actually dependent um, You have because of cross-functionality. So you're usually hired in a corporation or a government for a very specific function and because of that, in order to become independent and work cross-functionally, you enter silos and office politics, and that becomes a lot less with startup companies. And you notice, at least in the last five to 10 years, corporates and governments are actually trying to become a lot more like startup companies. And one of the fundamental problems a lot of my clients have who are corporates and governments is understanding the culture and attitude that is actually used, mindset behind a startup company. And usually the skill set of those who brought up uh, brought into a startup company are actually multifaceted. And so the individuals operate more independently rather than dependently. Now I'm just talking on an individual level. Now when you talk about building an actual company, whether it be a startup, a corporation, um, there are a lot of dependencies that are built. Now some dependencies are are constructive, right? I, I, I don't have the ability to go print my own brochures. Uh, that doesn't make sense. So I'm dependent on someone else, right? But the design and the development of it, I'm independent. I can actually work on those parts. So I work with a lot of co-founders and say, listen, break things down which are de in de independent and dependent. Be very strategic about it. Focus on the things the, that add a lot of value that you need control on, be independent. The things that you are dependent on, you need to work in very smart ways to ensure that those dependencies don't flip you. Recently, I had hired an individual to do a job for me um, who left the job half done, took off, she had some personal issue, and because I was dependent on her, I'm now left stuck unable to finish the job and having to find other people to do who don't want to finish it because someone else had created a mess and they want to start from zero, right? Now this is a, this is a bit more of a, a particular case. Uh, what I had to do to solve this is I had to restructure the scope. I had to clean up her mess. And what I learned was that as I was going through the different phases, I should have never allowed her to continue the mess. Um, I had gone along with it because I believed that the final product she would deliver, but she didn't. So there need to be some certain controls in place that make me independent of her. Uh, things like the scope needed to be a lot more detailed in certain areas, especially breaking down the deliverables uh, at checkpoints in a lot more granular level. It is absolutely annoying for somebody by nature who is more of a macro manager rather than a micro manager. However, uh, micro management in, in some cases is very constructive and in a scenario like this where you have a limited time and a very specific form of execution that is required for a final product product, micromanagement is very, very important. That is independent over dependent. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe, press the notification bell, like the video, share your comments. See you in the next video.